Unlock your potential with a comprehensive suite of investing tools and expert education with Gamma Edge. Start your free 14-day trial today. Hey guys, Taylor with Gamma Edge here coming at you with a pre-market liquidity stock review for November 15, 2023. Starting out with our market status heat maps, uh, looking at the indices, these are green, third day in a row. Uh, constructive. I mean, we had the massive gap up yesterday, so really no surprise there. A thing to note is the GEX ratios themselves on the index are starting to get quite overheated. Uh, SPX were at 183, SPY 241, uh, 230, 185. Uh, this was last I said to make sure you check the pre market data this morning. Um, slightly different, however, needless to say, they are getting quite extended. Remember, our back testing, I think, is. 1.2, 1.4, things start to get overheated. So not to say they can't go higher. They certainly can. I mean, we're call dominated, tick is trending higher, but um, you know, some kind of consolidation, maybe even a little bit of a pullback uh, would not be the craziest thing in the world here. Uh, looking at the sector ETS, really thing I just wanted to note here is, you know, more and more starting to turn green every day. That's constructive. Looking at the um, individual liquidity stocks now i'm just running through magnificent seven you know most are all are green you got apple you got amazon uh sorry you got apple you got amazon you got amd all green google's green uh nvidia's green you know meta microsoft netflix tesla's green today too so everything is green and bullish now looking at apple first starting out with the gex ratio uh, what are we at? We're at 191. So, you know, uh, towards the upper third of the range, I would say, for the last half year. So, something to be cognizant of there. Looking at structure itself, 190 plus GEX. Um, calls dominate above and below spot price. So, all looks constructive. Looking at this week's expiration, 190 is uh, plus GEX. Moving on to next week, 190 is plus GEX again. So, yeah, all in all, I mean, 190 is kind of a sticking point here. No surprise or given the move that we have had. Looking at Tesla, Tesla again, GEX ratio, kind of more in the middle of the range. So Tesla has been a uh, laggard relative to the other Magnificent 7 stocks. So maybe um, they're that, that is the reason why. So it's going to be kind of some of there. Uh, here we're just uh, about to exit transition zone. 250 is plus GEX and COI. Um, looking at this week's expiration. So plus GEX actually dropped to 240. Um, 240 there, 250 starting to build out when you incorporate next week. So yeah, something to be cognizant of there. Uh, let me see, calls will dominate above and below spot price. So yeah, I get some kind of upward maybe a target. Next, moving on to Microsoft. Microsoft as well extended. I mean, this stock has been leading all big tech higher. So yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, GEX ratio is quite high there. Uh, looking at the structure itself, uh, puts, or sorry, calls dominating above and below spot price. Uh, 375 is plus GEX on all time frame. 380 even 400 starting to build up a little bit looking at this week uh 370 is plus gex and 375 is plus gex when you add in next week so yeah not uh do have structure built now kind of higher though so it needed to get some kind of move higher but i mean so far three for three on we're basically at plus gex for this week and next week uh looking at nvidia yeah nvidia has been 500 has been plus GEX for the last couple weeks now. We achieved that. You know, 510 starting to build out. Above and below calls are dominant. Uh, looking at GEX ratio again, very extended to the upside on this name as well. Looking at this week, 500 plus GEX, uh, maybe room to 510. Looking at next week, yeah, structure keeps building up higher. We want to see a shift in plus GEX uh, leading price higher. It's kind of a characteristic that we look for. Last one, Amazon, quite extended to the upside as well. Plus GEX, or sorry, GEX ratio. Looking at the liquidity or sorry the, the structure we've been saying you know since last week amazon was an attractive looking one just relative from the distance of when spot price was near transition up to plus gex which is between 145 and 150 you know getting close to 150 now uh 150 plus gex here on this week's expiration including next week uh that doesn't really change 150 is still solid so yeah with that uh overall theme i would say is Things are certainly constructive to the upside. However, you know, GEX ratios are quite high to the upside. We are near or at or relatively in the vicinity of plus GEX for many of the names. So, um, I mean, just look at the run that we've had recently been a heck of a run. So making sure you're not getting too far out of your, your, your ski tips higher. So with that, best of luck today. Talk to you later. Bye.